Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are making our way through the distillery. I guess we gotta get over here. Um, come on, map. Okay. We're at some stairs. Those no, stairs don't do anything. They go down this little pit right here. Okay. Alright, we can't get in here. This is sparred. Okay. Guess we can get in there somehow, some way. I can grab that from here. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Can I operate this terminal from here? I cannot. <laughs> Would have been kind of funny if I could. Might be able to open that door. Um, let's see some. What's in there? I can get in there going through this way. This way over here, we can't get in here though. Well, maybe we can. Let's see. Okay. It's a terminal here. I can hack that in a minute. I gotta get my hack suit on. Alright, I'm gonna put my hack suit on. Tech skills. Is that hack? I can never remember. How long have I been playing this game for now? Tech skills are medical, science, and engineering. Okay, so a hack is going to be sneak. Stealth skills. So I have my stealth suit. This will help. Increase pressure levels. I wonder what that would do for me. Don't know what that did, but we increased the pressure levels. Um, there's no back door to this place. Okay, so let's go this way. Follow the uh, magic arrow. I can't go this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really? I just made it worse for myself? Okay. In that way. <laughs> Oops, ain't what I want to do, I want to reload.
Okay, so there's nothing much here. Immunosol. Compass, in case I get lost. Okay, there's nothing really this way. I can go through here, though. I think I'm going the right way. I have no idea. An elevator. Why am I going back up? Uh, that's weird. Why am I going... Oh, I got the thing. No, that's still marked correctly. Any infected employees at the distillation station, you'll have to find a way to th find a way through them. Find the administrator. So it wants me to take the... Maybe I gotta take the elevator down. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I think I came up on the elevator. Where's the elevator at? This is the elevator, right? Come on, map. Well, let's see where it's going to go. thinking we were already here, were we not? This is the exit, isn't it? battle here. where we were already in this area, but let's see what the map says. Now where are we going? We're going over to here. Looks like breadcrumb trail. It's not telling me where I want to go. Huh. Um, I'm starting to get the... I'm starting to remember something about this final boss fight here. This is the one I think it is. Not a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it is. I think I remember this. This guy's sleeping on a job. Now, yeah, we need a quick save here. I think this is going to be insane. I'm gonna wish I had some armor. Do I have any armor? Let's look. I don't have any heavy duty armor. What's this? 31 armor. Already got 17 armor there. That's not good. And what about this? This is 30 armor. Yeah, I'm kinda wishing I had some armor. <laughs> I remember this final fight in here. Is that the room? Is that the boss fight room? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Kids. Let's get hooked up. Uh, 
I don't think my sniper rifle is going to be much use in here. Can't tinker anything up anymore. Um, how about my armor? Can I repair my armor any? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I can repair this up to 40. But that'll definitely help. Can I tinker my armor any? I can. Ooh, it's going to cost a lot, but we need to do it. I got a lot of cash. Um, how about this here? No. Okay, that gives us uh, a little bit more armor. I do have some armor. Looks like I have some armor in my cell. Cell. What do we got here? What's this armor? 66. We're gonna have to keep our. We're gonna have to keep our damage armor on us. I think. We're going to have to keep our damage armor on us. Long guns and handguns are going to be my lucky weapons here, aren't we? Can we get in here? We can. Let's see what's in there. my armor 2347 that's 70 armor it's not great but it's gonna have to do yeah I remember this this is insane okay this door is sealed eh yeah that's sealed there And I believe you're probably, I'm probably going to get trapped in there, more than likely. I mean, that's how boss fights work. Let's do a save. I'll stick with this weapon for now, I guess. And we'll go with the bolter pistol. Let's make sure everything's loaded up. He's loaded up. He's not. He's not. Now, let's do this. Let's swap that weapon out. Wait a minute. We'll keep that for now. But let's swap the shock weapon out for... Caustic? Nah, I don't think that's going to make me any... Nah, we need to stick with the shock weapon, I think. We also have the... We have this. Finn's farce. I don't know if that'll do any good. But yeah, let's stick with the shock weapon. I was thinking I had a plasma assault rifle, but it don't. All right, here we go. Oh, we got some machines here, okay. kind of hardware do they have in here? Defense, stealth, doesn't do me any good. Persuade. I mean, it's some heavy duty armor, but I have to go with my uh, damage bonuses, I think. Okay. 
Alright, here we go. Final boss fight. Again, I'm going to save it one more time. There we go. Let it be go. Yes, I know you're hungry. Be patient. I'll feed you soon enough. Just a guest. The one I told you about. The inspector. <laughs> Welcome. We were just talking about you. Uh, we? Perception squid. There's someone behind you or something. You really need to lay off the spectrum, Brown. Lou, you've gone around in the head. You and I are standing in the presence of royalty. Don't worry. You'll meet her soon enough. I know what you've done. Hijacked Phaeton. Contaminated the air we breathe with your poison. You think you've saved this colony? All you've done is robbed Halcyon of its last chance at real happiness. And you've angered my queen. Your <laughs> queen. Your queen. Um. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Hurried up, I need to kill you before ADA starts worrying about me. On second thought, this is obviously a big moment for you. Carry on. Let me guess, you're about to reveal a horrible giant slug monster, right? Oh, you're worse than those people who talk in the middle of a picture. Hmm. You really couldn't let me have my moment. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to feed you to the queen, and then I'm going to find a way to repair the damage you've done. Don't be afraid. She can smell fear, and it makes her absolutely ravenous. Your Highness. Dinner is served. Wait. No. Not me. Them! Merciful law. Stop. All right, let's do this. Let's see what we got here. We could take some of this, maybe. No. See if I had anything that enhances my armor. Probably got rid of all that stuff. <laughs> Cause I don't use it. Um. Well, if we can do the health regeneration, that'll be a good thing, right? What do we got here? What's this? This is body attributes. Uh, let's see something here. Body is strength. Heavy weapons. Dexterity is handguns. That would probably be good. So body attributes would be good. Oops. Long guns. So any body and mind attributes. Okay. Mind attributes. One minute and 30 seconds. Body attributes, one minute.
So I gotta get over to the other terminals now, somehow. Where is she? is down. When do I need to hack this? 105, huh? Okay. Where's my hack? Here it is. can't get the last one, can I? Nope, it's 150. <laughs> Contact administration. Mr. Ludovico? Mr. Ludovico, sir? Is there any chance you're still alive inside the Queen's digestive tract? Wait, no. That's his leg on the ground over there. Okay, well, um, this is interesting. Mr. Ludovico never signed my release, so I'm contractually obligated to stay by my post. Assistant Harwell, Confectioner and Munitions Department. How may I be of assistance? Um, I have a giant oh, slug yes, trying to eat me. Happen. Negative emotions trigger the Queen's appetite. Mr. Ludovico must have been pretty terrified. Technically speaking, she is the broodmother of a species of vermiform parasites native to Eridanums. We've been using them as additives in Spectrum Brown. <laughs> Mr. Ludovico installed some emergency defensive countermeasures in the event of an unplanned feeding episode. But I'll need his permission before I can activate those countermeasures. Let's see. Uh, he hired me. Oh, you're the inspector. I heard of you. If Mr. Ludovico hired you, then I guess you're part of the Rizzo's family, too. Emergency defense system activated. Thank you for minding the flames. Happy customers are repeat customers. Too terrible. This 
speak with Helen. Return to ADA. Oh, ADA. <laughs> I was trying to ADA. I was trying to figure what ADA was. Forgot. It's ADA. All right, let's make sure we get all the goodies over here before we leave. Can I get in here? Oh, yeah, I can't right there. Okay. Well, we got to go speak to Helen. Is there still more guys in here? side and see what's in the other room. stealing all this stuff because we're uh, pretty much done with the game. <laughs> I got no reason to go anywhere now. What's over here? An elevator or something? Who's this guy? You made it. <laughs> I guess happy customers really are repeat customers. Here, I had something I wanted to give you. This is a golden ticket. Good for one free tour of the Purpleberry Orchards. This is my way of showing you that I appreciate you just for being alive. Well, no, I suppose I appreciate you for all types of reasons. For example, did dude. Okay, nothing else here. All right. So there really wasn't nothing in here. It's this way. So, yeah, we gotta get out of here. It says... Um, talk to Cedric. Cedric's waiting to buy the landing pad. Speak with Helen. Say goodbye to Helen before leaving Eridanos. So is she at the landing pad too? Uh, we gotta get out of this building first before we do anything. Let's see what we can get. So we'll get rid of some stuff here. We don't need this. Well, see, now I needed that earlier, but didn't really need it. What's this? A power helmet. This is defense skills, okay? Woo. That one's almost as good as mine. Oh no, mine's 184, okay. A plasma launcher, cool. And a toss ball stick. I seem to have something extra here though. Oh, okay, I got two of these now. The Nova Burst and Finn's Farce. Huh, this one's better than Finn's Farce. This has Stagger. Oh, this has a Fun Times Barrel. Okay, what's this one got on it? Just mag to, right? Okay, this one has Stagger also. Yeah, get rid of it. We don't need it. Holy crap. Can 
get all my stuff, get some cash back here. I want to go this way. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's where we saw Helen where she wiped out all these guys. Okay. Oh, this is the elevator that goes up, huh? Alright. There should be no more baddies around. I mean, there still are some bad guys around, eh? Seriously. How's that possible? Come on, game, really? this thing. <laughs> Oops. Someone still throwing stuff at me? Oh, that's just me. That's me having a hard time. Okay. Alright. Still gonna throw some bad stuff at me. Let's do a save here in case something bad does happen. <laughs> Can't be that number of bad guys left when we we sprayed the place with an herbicide to kill everything. All right, so where do we want to go? Um, is everybody waiting for me on a landing pad? Looks like it. All right, we got to get rid of this thing here. Go to the landing pad. Oh, that's even... Oh, man. Everything's at the landing pad, no matter what I do. Just get me somewhere over here, hey? Get me close. Here, aren't I? Um, there we go. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll talk to my friends. There's Helen Sedwick's right there, eh? Let's go talk to Helen first. We'll talk to Cedric later. Yep, she's packing her bags. Huh? She's going away. One last thing to rip off here. She's smoking a cig. I must have dreamed up a hundred different ways to kill Ludovico. I'll be honest. Eaten alive by the queen of the brain slugs wasn't <laughs> on that list. <laughs> ah, you sound disappointed. Is that so strange? I imagine this moment would be a little more cathartic, but Belinda's still gone, and I don't feel all that different. I know what you need, a nice cold bottle of Spectrum Brown. <laughs> uh, revenge won't bring back your sister. Don't bring your sister back. Save the drama for your next serial. I've got places to be. I'd like to help you because I like you. You're still a murderer. I want to give it this one. I like Hilarious, that. Captain. You must be very popular with your crew. I can't I go back to the way things were. I can't return to my old life because it was never my life to begin with. It was shared. <laughs> never mind, you don't need to listen to this. 
Thank you again for your help, Captain. I never would have made it this far without you. Okay, we got nothing left to talk about, I guess. Okay, let's talk to Cedric. Cedric, here he is. Goofy Cedric. Ludovico was eaten by a giant slug? What an absolute tragedy. We'll be awfully busy with the administrator gone. Lots to do. Very brave of the slug, though. Lou must have tasted so bitter. <laughs> Likes a little glitch there, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll go back. We'll go talk to Ada now and see what's next. I suppose since we're such a high level, we can go back and harass Byzantia for a little while, huh? Welcome back, Captain. Or shall I call you Inspector? What can I do for you? There was something else I needed. During your absence, I passed the time by simulating a number of hypothetical conclusions to this case. Unfortunately, my understanding of the facts is limited, and my appraisal of the individuals involved is not flattering. Therefore, my conclusions are inaccurate. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you missed me. I can tell you what happened if you'd like. All right, hear me. Who do you think killed Halcyon Helen? My simulations have yielded several possible causes of death. Halcyon Helen may have been killed by one or all of the following. Asphyxiating on Rizzo's spectrum brown. Grappling with a primal while inebriated. <laughs> killed by an overzealous fan. Death by automechanical. Or profound loneliness. How close were my estimations? Uh, closer than you think. You're so far off the mark, I'm wondering how you might, how you're my astrogator. Excellent. I'm pleased to discover my ability to predict human behavior is accurate. This information is valuable to me. I will update my behavior simulation protocol accordingly. Thank you, Captain. No problem, though. How can I be of assistance? I'd like to continue our conversation from before. Who was that? Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. Okay. Is there another topic on your mind? Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, we don't need to discuss Alex directly, but I was wondering how he improved your design. Are you sad? No. I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. Hmm, so you wanted him to die. That statement is false. <laughs> if I had wanted to kill my captain, I would have disabled the ship's life support systems and locked the doors to the escape pods. <laughs> I would not have emergency landed the ship and asked repeatedly for my captain to wait for aid in response to my distress call while I monitored his concussion. But he said he had a job to complete. He had to set the landing beacon for your rendezvous. Then why did you disregard the danger in what he was doing? He asked me to trust him. All right, that's it. We're done. Oh man, more moo cows. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? All right, so that's pretty much the game. That is it. We did all of the DLCs, we did the game, we killed a bunch of people, we got killed a bunch of times. We got nothing left. The Brave New World is left, and we've already done that. We're not going to do that again. Yep. So, I'll we'll have to come up with something else. Let's see what's next on my list. I don't know. We'll see. I might still go back to Borderlands 2. 
ultimate vault hunter mode. I don't know. I just think it's going to be a really, that would be a really long, long video series because of how difficult that is. Look at all this stuff I got. Here's some more stuff here. I got another poster over there. Finally. All my stuff shows up that I've been collecting. Yeah, I thought I called this a a raptodon at one time, but it's not. It's a frickin' damn mantisaur. A manta queen. Oh, we mounted that head. A manta queen, huh? Ah, cool. My bar cart, formerly the property of Frey, posthumously put to better use in your quarters. The flag. What's this? Purple Berry Puzzles, Puzzle Hedges Completion Certificate. Okay, awesome. This? Welcome to Sublight. Okay, we already saw that. And we have a little bobblehead guy. Look at that. A souvenir from Gorgon. Its eyes seem to follow you wherever you go. <laughs> a souvenir from Gorgon. Alright, I guess we got it covered. So, that's it. We never did look at the crew members. What the hell's that? Parvati's father. Okay, this is Parvati's lab. Look at her little, look at everybody's little space. See what kind of stuff they got. This is an empty space because we didn't fill it. This looks like, whose space is this? This must be the doctor's, whatever her name is. Nope, she's over here. Oh man, more heads. There's a raptodon. Named Frida. Nokia has scrawled the name Frida into this otherwise pristinely preserved raptodon head. Oh, this is Nokia here, eh? Encased trip blade. And these are all what? Oh, that's all her, uh, Medallions were buddies. All right. On standby for command. And this is the doctor's quarters here. Bullet riddle leather jacket. It's distressed. Trauma kit. Okay. Oh, that's the arm. Still here. Alright, let's just end this right over there by Ada. And we're pretty much done. Let's just go back to where it all began. Let's just go there. Terra 2. Edgewater, Captain. I wonder what, um, Hephaestus, the son of Hephaestus Mining Company, was first to establish outposts here, and as such, it has claimed the planet for itself. Hmm, can't go there. I wonder why I can't go there. There's no missions left. But we can't go to Hephaestus, huh? Hmm. Alright, we're at Clearwater, or Edgewater, not Clearwater, Edgewater. Alright, let's go this way. Let's just head out. And we're back to the very beginning. 
my first uh, casualty. Well, second casualty, I think, or maybe third or fourth. I don't know. Here we are. This is it. Is this guy still here? Yeah, he is. He's hanging out over here. Has he got anything to say? Let's just talk to him. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Go on. What exactly do you do I'm here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially, unofficially, strictly between you and me, I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Okay, dude. Alright, so we're gonna call it. Nothing left to do. So. Appreciate all the support on this little series. It was fun. We had a good time. And if you're watching, thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe and hit the like button. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.